And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. It was a very warm to hot day across northeast Wisconsin today and more is on the way. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs will be mainly in the 80s for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday before a strong cold front moves through and cool us down for early next week. Right now we are looking at temperatures that are mainly in the 80s, including a reading of 87 in Mountain and 88 degrees in Watoma. In Green Bay, it's still mostly sunny. The temperature is 85, but look at that dew point. It's 75. That is considered very, very tropical. And obviously that is a huge change from what we saw yesterday when dew points were only in the 50s. Now when you combine the heat with the humidity, you get the heat index. This is what it feels like outside right now. It it currently feels like 93 in Oconto, it feels like 91 in Fond du Lac, and it feels like 98 degrees in Watoma. You can see lots of sunshine across the area right now, but we've got a cold front approaching from the north and west, and that cold front is now kicking off showers and thunderstorms just to the north and west of the Fox Valley. As you take a look at Storm Shield radar, you can see we've got a line of thunderstorms extending from northeastern Iowa all the way up into the UP. We do have one warning right now near Escanaba, closer to home. No severe thunderstorm warnings, but we do have some big storms here across Wapaka County up into Shano County. This activity is moving east at around 20 to 25 miles per hour, so it's going to be making its way into the Fox Valley shortly with the potential for some heavy rain and possibly some severe weather. Once again, we have a warning here across the UP. Besides that, nothing going on across Wisconsin as far as severe weather is concerned, but there is a slight risk for organized severe weather across most of the viewing area as we head through the evening hours, and that means all types of severe weather would be possible with any thunderstorms that do develop. The main threats would be damaging winds, hail, and very heavy rain. You can see these thunderstorms making their way across northeast Wisconsin as we head through the evening hours just ahead of a cold front. Behind the cold front tomorrow, it's not going to cool down much. It's still going to be warm. Highs will be in the mid 80s and we'll have lots and lots of sunshine. Here's Skycast showing sunshine across the area for most of the day. But that cold front is going to stall to our south and then start to work back north as a warm front tomorrow evening. And right along that frontal boundary, we're going to see another thunderstorm complex develop across parts of Minnesota and western Wisconsin. It appears the worst is going to be to our south and west. But having said that, these things are very difficult to forecast 24 to 36 six hours out and there is a marginal to slight risk for severe weather across the southwestern half of the viewing area as we head into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night and that threat for on and off thunderstorms will continue as we head through the rest of the week because we are going to be under the ring of fire. So your forecast for tonight calls for thunderstorms and then thunderstorms ending overnight lows will be in the 60s tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. High temperatures will be in the mid 80s tomorrow night. A chance for some thunderstorms. We'll watch that complex. We'll have to wait and see how far north it goes. And then as we move through Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we're going to watch that frontal boundary draped across the state, giving us on and off chances for thunderstorms. Any thunderstorms that move through could be strong to severe with heavy rain. Trying to time them out right now is very difficult, so they're in the forecast. And then after that, it looks like we will cool down a little bit and start to dry out as we head towards the middle part of next week. We but it could still be active this evening, Megan. We're going to keep a close eye on the radar. And it just seems like we've had a lot of active days this month. We have, and we've got more on the way as we head through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks, okay. Cameron.